Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I just started editing this video and I realised like a complete moron that I didn't do an intro. This video is basically just going to be me getting ready for my new job and then right near the end there'll be clips on how I've got ready for it the morning of and after and um, I go into a little bit more detail on what my actual job role is this is just sort of like a preparation video for you so without further ado I hope you enjoy give me a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video I'm fully aware I'm in the mindset where I am starting a new job and I want everything to be as new as possible I mean I know that my new job is going to be new anyway but I want all the other stuff to sort of feel new you know I've just I've got a couple of new things that just makes me feel like I'm in the right direction to starting something completely new if that makes sense in my previous video I don't think that I stated exactly what it is that I'm going to be doing so I have left my mixology part not behind me but I've sort of said goodbye emotionally to that part for the time being I am going to be doing stuff along those lines I'm just not 100% sure what it is with that that I'll be doing so the job role that I actually applied for was duty manager for a CAF which is a little bit different to what I am doing now but to my surprise when I went for my interview and I was reading their menu they actually did have cocktails on their menu and the woman that I had my interview with did state that she would like to do something as a monthly thing me being a mixologist and doing courses before it you know it ties in really really well like I said I've gone out and I've bought a couple of new things just because I feel like it's important you start on a new job you want certain stuff to be new I'm not gonna lie I'm quite embarrassed to show you how bad it is but you'll see why I needed a new one so but there's a nice big crack in the screen and it's just really grubby and disgusting but I just have not been willing to get rid of my watch especially because I'm quite picky when it comes to watches I don't want to spend a massive amount on them so it looks like this with a nice diamante on the side and then so I picked that up don't think it was bad at all for five pound and one thing that is quite personal to every single person you know they're all different I needed a sort of professional type diary trying to find one was a bit of a challenge the last place I actually looked is where I found the one that I liked this was WH Smith and I found this so this was 19.99. You've got a nice little pocket just here. You've got the oversee of the full year. And what I loved was at the beginning of every single month, you can see the overall month it goes in to your days. It's got a nice little organize a bit at the back and it comes with a pen i feel like i'm sort of ready as of this moment i'm not nervous i'm just eager and i'm ready to sort of get stuck in and know exactly what i'm doing what's going on obviously that might change in a couple of clips time when we fast forward to tomorrow morning and i could be a bag of nerves so like I said about feeling fresh and new I am going to just treat my face 
So I picked this up from good old Primark. It was two pound. And it's a blemish control and exfoliating. It's a hydro sheet mask. As you can tell, my skin isn't the nicest at the moment. And then I also picked up, also again from Primark, the soothing eye patches. And you get a 15 treatments in a pack. to go in I'm parked up I really need to pee which is great I just wanted to sort of show you a little bit of a before and after this is what my hair currently looks like this side is a lot darker than this side as you can tell yeah these are my brows they're crazy and this is my eyelashes Oh, I'm not mentally prepared to be sat in there for like hours. This is my hair now. It's a lot blonder, which I'm chuffed at. And my eyebrows. And my but this bit is an exciting bit because I have a lovely big delivery from Boohoo. Yeah, well, I've just basically I've just bought some stuff from Boohoo for new uniform attire. It's pretty much all black. I've got six pieces here. One of these pieces aren't actually for my job. I just really wanted. It. So this one right here is called the Plus Washed Pastel Rib Zip Detail Top. I got it in a size 20. I probably shot myself in the foot with this, which I think I've probably explained anyway. But this job is going to sort of get my life back in order. So I'm going to be able to start going to the gym and stuff. So I'm just hoping that... I'll get enough use out of these in this size before, fingers crossed, hopefully I lose some weight. I don't know if you can, that is the sort of material. And that is what it looks like. So this top was £9.80. It was a size 20, but it is quite snug as you can tell. Not showing you my cleavage, I'm just showing you the collar. <laughs> The next item is the Plus Angel Sleeve Fit and Flare Top. I got this in a size 20 as well. I think I pretty much got all of my stuff in a size 20. That's the sort of material. A nice baggy top, little shorter sleeves. So you can also tell that I did not check the fabric because this one is extremely snug as well, which I'm massively disappointed at. This one was £10.50 and this is just one that I would have loved to, you know, love. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to send this one back as it was very, very, very tight. The next item is the Plus Kimono Sleeve Tie Waist Top. Just looks like that. That's the sort of fabric. And this one is stretchy. And that is what it looks like. It ties up around the waist. So once again, this one is really, really tight. I'm really disappointed with quite a few of these tops that I got. This one was £10.50 also. And I just did not do that bow right at all. But yeah, it's just a bit of a shame, really, that 
they were just really really tight i should have just looked beforehand really next item is the plus chiffon striped oversized shirt this one i wasn't 100 percent sure if i was actually gonna buy it because on the model it looks see-through it probably is see-through but you can always get away with just wearing like a little tank top underneath and it's that sort of material definitely see-through and it just looks like that so this one is quite a longer one so i don't know why i didn't put a tank top on underneath this sorry mum but as you can tell this one i actually really really did like and this was one of the most expensive ones that i bought it was 20 pounds and i actually have worn this already with a black tank top underneath i just bought some plain black jeans as per usual um so yeah i'll be pairing all of those with oh, my black jeans I I'm just gonna like chit chat to you while I'm just getting ready it's not gonna be a very long chit chat it's just gonna be by the way I just done my nails really 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 plain because I couldn't be bothered to gel them last night so I'm gonna gel them on Wednesday so they recommended this I can't read, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to try and read it because I can't read it backwards. Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. It's really, like, runny. I'm not going to complain at trying that. As it was free. And she said that you could use it as sort of like a base for your makeup, but anyway. Am I nervous? As of this second, no. Will I be nervous when I get in the car and I start driving there? Yes. Yeah, as of this moment, no, I'm not nervous. I'm more, I think it's still feeling like I was yesterday, where I'm just like, let me get stuck in like woke up really really early i don't have work until eight but i woke up really early because i'm still in the mindset that i have to leave 45 minutes before my actual shift <laughs> I'm not going to bore you again with all of my makeup, but I did just want to come on here just to let you know whether I was feeling a bit nervous or not. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and try and sort out my hair off camera, this thing. Isn't on the top of my head like this. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm on my lunch and it's going really really good, everyone's really really lovely and I can't complain. 
So excuse my face, but you know, I just thought that I would finish this video how I started it. <laughs> it's now Wednesday. I started my job on Monday. And I think I gave you a very, very, very short little update on my lunch break. And I was meant to give you a full update and sort of close this video off Monday night. But I'm not going to lie because I was so worried that I weren't going to wake up. And I was just, you know, awake and raring to go. I woke up at like quarter past five. So by the time I got home, I was extremely tired and I fell asleep at half eight. But I thought now that today is actually one of my days off, I thought I would just give you a quick little update on how it's all gone, what I'm actually doing, blah, 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 blah. So my first day, we sort of had um like inductions um obviously now that i'm going to be a manager there was a lot more paperwork to do and for some reason when you're just sitting there and you're you know taking all of this information in it drains you out a lot more so we've done that for most of the day and then for the rest of the day me and the other duty manager just you know went down and watched how everyone was working and saw what their procedures were their closed down procedures all that jazz um and then on the tuesday you know we'd done the same again so all managerial type stuff in the morning and then for just over half of the day we went down and once again you know had a couple of meetings with some of the team got to know them a little bit better and yeah and obviously today is now my day off so one thing slash one of the only things that I was really really worried about was the other duty manager so I weren't sure how we were going to get on and obviously that was a big thing because I'm going to be working really really closely with this person and he, he's lovely. He is sort of like a male version of myself, which is great. And we're only going to be working one shift together throughout the week. So that's sort of going to be like an admin day. I'm really, really excited. There's going to be a lot of changes that we're going to make. And um, there's changes that the owner would like um, me to make regarding drinks and cocktails, which is great. So like I said, they aren't going to be completely out of my work schedule which is nice and I'm still going to be able to do something that I love but apparently according to my family over the last two days they have seen a complete change in how I'm acting and how I'm sounding and apparently I'm acting and sounding a lot happier <laughs> which is always good so yeah i'm still obviously adjusting because i've done eight years worth of sort of night shifts and all days i am sort of adjusting to getting home at about half five um but i'm really really enjoying it i, I just thought i would give you a very quick little update on how my last two days have gone what I've been up to, how I'm handling the change and yeah just to see if I'm a bit happier in myself which I am. I hope you all have sort of enjoyed coming on this little bit of a journey with me. I hope you've had a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. If you enjoyed this video then please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like any more updates then please leave them in the comments down below and if you're enjoying the videos that you've seen of mine then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button.